I'm Nikki. And I'm Gabby. And we know you guys like our fashion and styling videos. So today we're getting in the cozy spirit and focusing on fall fashion. So basically we picked four top fashion trends for fall 2020 that we have to create outfits and take photos revolving around. And after we pick out the outfits and post them on our Instagram stories, we're gonna open up the poll option for you guys to vote which twin were the fall trends better. I'm out for revenge today because the last time we did a seasonal trends video, Nikki beat me. Nikki significantly won tie-dye. So the first category we're going to be styling today is preppy, which is basically the Gossip Girl New York City Upper East Side style, which is making such a big comeback. Nudes and browns are a fall staple. I just recently dyed my hair latte blonde. If that's even like a color, I call it latte blonde, but yeah, it's for the season. Y2K, or basically early 2000s, it's having such a comeback this year and the trend is still going strong. And finally, corsets. So stick around to see who won and let's get into styling these new fall fashion 2020 trends. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, usually I show myself picking stuff out while standing up and like involve you guys in the process, but fall is my favorite season and fall fashion is my favorite thing in the world. So I put effort into this. For the corset outfit, I haven't worn this yet. This is my Nike upcycled corset. I got this on Depop and I think I'm gonna pair them with these docks and a cute bag and call it a day, let it have its moment. So I am going to attempt selfie camera for this one just because I did do a cool makeup look and I wanna show that off along with the outfit. And guys, this is my kitchen wall that I have not revealed yet. I redid my entire apartment and that's coming on my channel, Nikki Dimar. So you guys haven't subscribed to that. Be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see the complete reveal. Okay, so. corset category. I want to wear this cute lingerie corset dress that I own and then I want to wear a pop of like Burberry underneath. I feel like it captures that whole corset trend going on right now where you wear a corset over like a shirt and in this case it's like a corset dress and Burberry always reminds me of fall. So I actually changed the undershirt to the crew neck from my clothing line with wet seal with Nikki. Throwback to 2017. This is one of my favorite crew necks ever especially around the fall time. So I felt like I was missing an opportunity by not wearing it. I low-key feel like Nikki with like this hair length, bangs, and like a smoky oh, nice. eye. And I'm wearing these cute striped pumps. I'm clearly feeling myself. Goodbye. Some kind of magic you came into my life. And with that bed. The next look is um, early 2000s. So I'm gonna start with this baby doll dress. It's actually a baby doll slip. It's vintage Victoria's Secret. I can't believe vintage and Victoria's Secret fall in the same category anymore, but it has been 20 years now since Victoria's Secret like was really, really popping. But I wanna pair it with these white cowgirl boots, which I've seen all over Pinterest. And then we are iffy on this, but I got this in a PR package from Local Heroes, and this screams Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie Simple Life, so hopefully this is a cute little getup. The other option is an Ed Hardy t-shirt with the white cowgirl boots with the hat. So I have two options for early 2000s. So I'm wearing this hat, this faux, clearly it's faux tiger or zebra, this ain't real obviously, but I'm using this bag, I think this really screams early 2000s, and some Nike Air Force Ones. Come on, children of the sun. Come on, city lights. Let the world be a oyster. Have them fall into their knees. Beg and please. So, for year 2000, everything's about layering. So I went to a thrift store and I got this like really cute like Blair Waldorf looking see-through top to wear underneath. And then I also got this two-piece set and it's like this sheer like lingerie looking top that I wanna put over. 
And then this is a matching skirt. So 2000s, very Lindsay Lohan. And if I'm feeling it, then maybe a cute little like beaded belt to go around the whole thing. So Lindsay Lohan, oh my goodness. I'm excited for this one. Basically, I'm a, you know this, I'm a huge fan of Gossip Girl. I, although I've never seen someone wear a bucket hat on Gossip Girl before, they always wore headbands. I wanted to throw Nikki off because I know she's not expecting me to own a Burberry bucket hat because she's the one that wears bucket hats. This is one of the dumb things I bought in quarantine because I've never, I haven't worn it yet. I have these brown corduroy pants and I also have this brown getup and then I'm gonna pair that outfit with my cow bag because I feel like brown and cow goes like really well together. All right guys, this is my brown getup. I actually kept the same jeans on because I really liked how they photographed in my last outfit. There are a lot of people out on the road today. I have gotten stopped a few times. People ask me what I'm doing. So I'm like a little embarrassed, but um, we do it for the video. <laughs> For nudes and browns, I want to go with this dress. I've been saving this for an Instagram moment, and I think this is the video where I'm going to wear it. It's super cottage core, like my style, but it's also super like glam. It would look cute with like Chanel earrings and maybe some thigh high boots. We'll see. We could take this in two different directions, but this is what I want to wear. I would love to take a picture in this dress in front of this lamppost we just got installed. Total Gabbleween vibes. And yes, I'm pulling back out my cottage core basket purse that I used in the morning routine. My indecision, my rising Libra is really coming through. I have this green sweater vest, white polo, white pleated skirt, green vest, or I have this, this isn't Taylor Swift merch, this is actually an Instagram account that makes Taylor Swift merch, and this is the folklore crew neck sweatshirt. I might wear this with the white polo and the white skirt, and then finish it off with a black headband and my bangs peeking through. All right, so this is my preppy outfit. It's still pretty comfy and casual for being preppy. This is pretty girly for my liking, but it's comfy, so it passes the Nikki check. But yeah, fun fact, we actually did try taking photos in a cornfield, but cars were staring, lantern flies, or whatever those kinds of bugs were landing on Nate, and I just wasn't really vibing with it. I don't know what picture I'm gonna use at the end of this video. Watch me end up using the cornfield photo. So, you know, you never know. The basic idea is that there's a groove that I can find that's exactly right for me. Exactly right for me. Exactly right for me. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when I try to reason, yeah. you don't seem to listen at all. So I'm gonna wear a sweater with. Well, I can't choose between these two Love Shack fancy sweaters, but I want to wear this collared shirt underneath and like pop it up over the sweater and then wear like a pleated skirt and a cute little mini purse, you know, like early 2000s-ish. So, hmm. Actually, you know what? Shout out to my Gabbleween giveaway. I'm going to announce it on my vlog channel this week, but I'm going to use the bag that's in the giveaway for this outfit. I think this would look so cute, like with the pullover and the collar. Gossip Girl vibes all the way. Okay, so I'm wearing this Blair Waldorf inspired, Halloween inspired schoolgirl look with a little touch of Paris Hilton. Yeah, it's so cute. Don't look at the shoes. <laughs> I don't see your shoes. Cute. I need to work the sweater better. Put one of it inside. That's so cute! Oh my god! I kind of want to look like it's like tucked in. I have to let my feelings show. It's hard enough to let it go. This might be our last chance. Hello. Hello. Hey, 
okay, so we have a producer, you guys know, Zena's our producer, and she tallied up all the percentages, and she's gonna surprise us with the results, and we're recording it so you guys can get our reactions, because we don't know who won. All right, so let's let Zena know we're ready to send the results. Okay, ready. I'm honestly so, your fans probably hated my brown. Your fans probably hated my outfits. No. I got 101. And I got 99. I beat Gabby and Preppy. If I knew it was just Preppy and not collared shirts, I would have worn something different. When Nikki and I were looking over inspo photos for this video, I thought this was a collared shirt under a sweater look. If I knew it was just like genuinely Preppy, I would have probably worn my Lee and Meester's Gossip Girl dress for this category, and that was a huge missed opportunity. I think the only reason mine won is because the outfit I wore is like a blueprint of what every single girl is literally wearing right now, but I love your outfit. It is? Yes, I'm on the fashion side of TikTok, so I've seen this outfit replicated a million times. Oh. Oh! oh. Nudes and browns. Nudes and browns, I only got 44. I got 156. <laughs> when we were taking those photos, I was like sweating. I was just like, I'm we're gonna put my- We're sore losers. Look at us and our, us and our excuses when we lose a category. <laughs> we're like stepbrothers. <laughs> No, but I gave up. Us in our backstories for our failures. Okay. Okay, Y2K. I got, oh, 121. I got 79, but honestly, I'm just happy I have 79 people that liked my outfit because- That is so not your I, thing. That is so not my thing. I really tried. Okay, the last category, why do I, I you definitely won. For corsets, I got 80. And then for corsets, I got 120. So the way we're adding these up, guys, is our producer, Zena, is taking my percentages and Gabby's and adding them together to each have a final, like, percentage. Wait, this is a tie! No, it's not a tie. We have to add up all of our scores. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, I have 346. I have 454. Wait, I'm confused. You have to just, wherever it's so it's like So it's like, are we doing, oh, this is like mean, median, and mode. Like from math class, do you remember the no, mean? No, it's not. The median, yeah. No. No, that's just adding. What are you talking about? That's yeah. If you, you, if you add, add them all them up, them. <laughs> so you're just looking for the total, the not the mean, median, or. No, we're we're just adding Nikki. Nikki is having a mental like math part. <laughs> Gabby won. I give up. Yeah, I want with fashion so and with mathematics. I don't understand how we're doing this. Why am I like... Oh, wait, that does make sense because Gabby won by a landslide with the brown outfit. 29% yeah. on mine is 71. Okay, never mind. Adding that's, the what, that's how you do it on like those TLC competition shows. I got Gabby's actually on it. All right, guys, so we hope you enjoyed this video and we also hope you guys got some inspo for fall outfits. Also, my music video for Champagne Dreams comes out this Friday, September 18th. Um, it's gonna be on my Vivo channel. We'll link that down below or put it up here. And obviously do the usual. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and our vlog channels. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.